Hello everybody, I'm Yvette of Uniquely Yvette. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Since fall is fast approaching, I thought I would make something appropriate for the fall. This week I'm going to be making a pumpkin wagon. It is going to be a decorative piece. While I will put wheels on it, they're not going to be movable because I don't need those kinds of complications for my brain, y'all. So, <laughs> I've made some spring slash summer time uh, baskets, wagon, whatever kind of thing, planters before. And I'm going to link those previous projects in the cards so you can check them out if you so choose. But this piece, it can be a planter, but it's pro it's not, I'm not going to specifically make it a planter. If you like this project, you can do that and make it a planter if you so choose. I have some one by four pieces here. I have eight one by four pieces here. And really what I did was I took two by fours and planed them down to about three quarters of an inch thick, which makes them about a one by four. You know, anybody who's worked with wood before, when you get it from the big box stores like Home Depot or Lowe's, they call it a one by four, meaning one inch by four inches, but it's never that size. <laughs> It's under an inch wide, it is under four inches, it's under an inch thick, and it is under four inches wide. I think it's usually like three and a half by three quarters of an inch. So they just call it a one by four. So that's what I'm going to call it too. These are eight one by fours that have been cut to eight inches long. Okay, and that's what we're going to start off with. These are going to be the start of our two sides to the wagon. I'm going to lay these four pieces out side by side like this. And I'm going to use this template that I made. And this is, this is the top and this is the bottom. So what I'm doing here is I'm tracing this outer part of the pumpkin on these four pieces of one by four. Okay, the outside only. And I did align this so that I don't have to cut out the base. So the bottom will be completely flat. The top and the sides are only the parts only that are going to be curved to shape the pumpkin. Hopefully. So I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so that's how we're going to do it. I'm going to move to the scroll saw. You could actually do this project with a jigsaw. And there's actually a lot of projects you can do with the jigsaw instead of the scroll saw. The jigsaw being much cheaper than the scroll saw. But you can't get overly fancy with it when you're coming to tight curves. You can't do the tight, tight curves and intricacies that you would do with the scroll saw on a jigsaw. But anyway, so I'm going to cut these out and have this shape. And then I think... I think I'm going to glue these together after that. Oh, I have these other four. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other four and cut the shapes out and then I'll be back. Side note, you could actually glue all your pieces together first with wood glue and then cut the entire shape out with one solid piece of four glued together. I'm going to cut them individually because that's just what I'm going to do. <laughs> Once you cut all eight pieces of the one by fours, it'll make up the two sides of the outer parts of the pumpkin. And it should look like this. See that? In addition to this out part, outer part of the pumpkin, we're going to have six pieces of this one by four that are seven inches long. So these all started out at eight inches long before you cut the shape. And these will start out at seven inches long. And I have six of these, eight of these. I'm going to individually trace on these crescent shapes here. This one individually on one piece. Individually cut this middle piece out. And then 
this one over here. So I trace the shapes onto these three pieces here. And then I'll just use a scroll saw to cut out the shapes. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on these. And I'll be right back. So this is how it looks when you cut out these three outer parts of the pumpkin. And I feel like it's a bit junky here and I didn't do a good job cutting it out. As I think about it, I wonder if I should have just cut this entire shape out like this. And then had one line here to separate these two and one line here to separate these two. That way the borders of both piece of all three pieces follow the one next to the piece next to it better. But you know, I find these things out as I go along and so that you don't have to if you make them. <laughs> now that I've cut out all, all the pieces, I'm going to glue together these four slices. The next pieces of wood we need for this project are one by sixes. And this is, I have two pieces here cut at six inches in length. Again, it's one by six. That means it's about five and a half inches across by six inches long. I have two pieces like that. Then I have another piece that's one by six. This one is cut 14 inches long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw these two pieces to this long piece. Um, these will be the sides. So basically it'll sit, it'll sit like this with the pumpkin walls on either side here. But I have to turn it upside down to attach these two pieces to this long piece. And what I'm going to do is attach one piece a half inch in from the edge and the other piece will be two inches in from the edge. I've made marks here so I can know where to place them and hope I don't miss when I go to drill it. So I'm basically going to be, again, this is upside down. I'm going to place one here, a half inch in from the edge. And this one will be here and that is two inches in from the edge. Okay, so there we are with the size on or the ends on and the base. And so that allows me to put this piece on. And what I'm trying to make sure of is I'm trying to make sure that this edge of this doesn't stick out past the rounded edge of the pumpkin piece. So let me sand these pieces here and then get ready to attach them. Now I'm going to glue the sides. I'm going to be using both wood glue and my nail gun. Nail gun is just basically to hold it in place until the glue dries. I'm going to off camera more carefully put some some nails along these sides just to hold the top close. So this is what we have so far. The sides on, front, back. So. And now I'm going to put on the outer parts on the sides. I'm going to use the wood glue and the nail gun to put these on after I figure it out. I'm going to let you see. <laughs> I hand drew uh, a stem on the on a piece of scrap wood. I'm going to do another one after I cut this one out and trace it. Before I glue on the stem, I want to work on these wheels first. So I have this circle here, which all I did was trace the circle on this piece of wood. And I'll tell you what the diameter is of this circle just so you know let's see it's a diameter about three inches it's a little over three inches what is that two three inches and two sixteenths three sixteenths yeah two three inches and three sixteenths 
And then I'm just going to cut these shapes out on the scroll saw. Okay, for the base, to put the wheels on, I have two pieces of this wood here that is one and a half inches wide by one inch wide. <laughs> one and a half by one inch. And then the length is seven and a quarter inches. So if I already done one here, and I just put a screw in right here. So after I put the wheel on to this piece, I just will position it just in front of the curve of the outside of the pumpkin. And I'll put the other one in the back in the same type of location. Then I think I'm going to drive in screws here to secure it to the base of the wagon. This wagon is very heavy, so that's why I'm using screws. Now that I don't have to go underneath again, it's time to glue on the stems. Now, the last thing after I do this, before we move on to painting, is I will put on a handle at the front. It's just a decorative handle. This is not something to just be moving around. It's just for some decoration. You put something in it, put it in the corner, and enjoy. <laughs> so I'm going to let these dry overnight, and then we'll come back again to create the handle. Okay, so I filled in all the nail holes with wood filler, and now I decided for these places on the wheels, I, I'm going to use this dowel. Um, I'm not sure what the size of it is. I feel like I told you in a previous video, but whatever. <laughs> I'm using this dowel and I sliced off little thin pieces. I didn't really measure. I just kind of eyeballed it as I cut it with the, um, with the miter saw. So I'm just going to glue them on to the middle there just to give the wheels a little something. And I have that tape on there just until the glue dries. And of course, you don't have to use these, these uh, pieces on your wheels. You could just use more wood filler for that hole. I, I'd rather have something sticking out a little bit just to give a little extra something. Okay, y'all. We're ready to create the handle for the front of the wagon. So I have here two short little pieces here of wood. Let me see. They're two inches long by one and a half, mm, almost one and a half inches wide. And basically I just grabbed some scrap pieces out of my stash that looked close to what I needed. And this one is yeah, one and a half wide by 13 inches long. And again, it's just what I happen to have. On the end of this piece, I cut it to a 10 degrees angle because I want it to have these two little pieces sitting in here with this, let me see, with this in between and that 10 degree angle will allow this handle to sit, you know, bent out a little. I mean, it's just decorative, but I think it gives it a little bit more something <laughs> rather than being straight up and down. I'm not sure how I'm going to attach this whole Mac, this whole piece to the board. I might just glue it and just let it be because the wagon is not going to be pulled by it. It's just a design. So it's a 10 degree angle just to make it sit forward a little rather than straight up and down. Now, what I'm go also going to use is this dowel. I did figure out this dowel is 5 8 inches in diameter. So, I'm going to cut off about 3 inches of it and put it in the top of this handle like this in a hole. I have this 5 8 inch um, hole bit and I'm going to drill that a hole in the top of the handle right here. This is supposed to be 5 eighths. This hole is 5 eighths. You'd think I'd have to really fight to get it in there, but it just slides right on in. 
that means it would easily come out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a brad nail in from the bottom. Let's see. Yep. Done. <laughs> it worked. Yes, it worked. Look at that. That worked perfectly. I decided not to battle with how to attach these. And so I'm going to just use hot glue because, you know, like I said, it's all decorative as far as this part. I did put marks on the base so I could see where to place these. So there we are. The pumpkin wagon is completely built and it's time to move on to painting. some chocolate bar color over the pumpkin so it wouldn't just look so flat with just the orange on there and I think I went a little heavy so I went back over it again with more orange to tone it way down so now it looks less flat it it looks like it has some variation in color so I, th I feel like the the wheels are a little flat too so I'm going to put something on the red spot and see if that'll help. I don't know how well this will go over the black, but a little something would be helpful. But that'll be it for this project, and I will stage next. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give me a comment below and let me know what you think or give me suggestions, whatever you think. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you the next time. Bye.